This is breaking news. These three words may reveal when Kate Middleton will return to public life. Opinion. When members of the royal family talk to the public, the strangest trifles and details can come out of their mouths. Last week, Prince William revealed that he thinks it is very important to talk to sheep, that he used to like lying down next to his horse and basically spooning it, and that after a hard day of handing out NBDs, he can be found cleaning his children's guinea pig cage. Hopefully William, despite having sold his polo ponies years ago, still has at least one filly to spoon because the latest news about his wife, Kate Middleton, suggests that she won't be seen in public for a very long time. On Tuesday UK time, King Charles, who, like his daughter-in-law, is also being treated for cancer, returned to public duties with such grinning gusto, vim and vigor that scientists should think about bottling his pep. So, with one Windsor patient cleared to return to work, when might the eager lenses of the press and the wall of iPhones being held aloft and the internet and the world get a peek at Kate again? When might the princess be well enough to get back to her day job of being driven in an armored Range Rover to do her bit? Ages. Ages and ages, it sounds like. The time Times assistant editor Kate Mansey has reported that Kate is expected to be away from public duties for some time. And it's those last three words, for some time, of which we need to take note. If we run the numbers and look ahead, it could well be at least four months, if not five, at the very earliest that Kate will return to the public eye. Next week we'll see the kickoff of Royal Garden Party season, signaling the starting gun being fired on the royal family's busiest season. Between now and July, there will be, at the least, the Palace Garden Parties in London and Edinburgh, the Chelsea Flower Show, Royal Ascot, the Order of the Garter Day, Shrubing the Color, Wimbledon, and the 70th anniversary commemoration of the D-Day landings in Normandy. Normally, we would be looking at several months of peak Kate exposure. This year, given the for some timeline, it seems likely there will be no Kate, no Kate, no Kate, no Kate, no Kate, no Kate, and you'll never guess, no Kate at each of these events. If this is what plays out, the very earliest we might see the Princess of Wales return to work would be in September, after the Windsors take their annual six-week-plus summer vacay, a portion of which it is mandatory for them to spend in Scotland doing battle with gorse prickles. With Charles relaunched this week, what is clear is that Buckingham and Kensington Palaces have adopted opposing strategies strategies as their principles face down the seaward. In February, with the king's doctors having ruled out him going anywhere near the germy masses, his majesty has ramped up his social media appearances, with the official royal family accounts spitting out a steady stream of shots showing the besuited, no elasticized lounging pants for a sick monarch, 75-year-old hard at it. Meanwhile, the line being thrown around has been that even when the king is not doing these ambassadorial meet and greets, and an aide is patiently answering his question about what an Instagram is, he is busy knowing away a state documents and having meetings with his private secretary and eminence cries, Sir Clive Alderton. Now, after only three months, Charles has gotten the medical green light to throw himself back into the thick of it this week, with him and Queen Camilla visiting a London cancer center and looking happier than that one time an overeager equerry offered to burn down the Tate Modern for him. This campaign of maintaining maximum visibility is the opposite of that adopted by Kate, who has been kept more firmly under wraps than someone who has gone into witness protection. Windsor protection. Here we are in May and the princess has been seen on only four occasions in that controversial Mother's Day Franken photo as an indistinct, blobby shadow in the back of a car with William. In a short clip with William at the Windsor Farm Shop, the 21st century's answer to the Zapruder footage, and in her March 22 video revealing that she has cancer and is undergoing preventive chemotherapy, the princess now exists in a complete and utter informational black hole that probably requires the Hubble telescope to penetrate. Aside from the Princess of Wales' March video, there has been a complete dearth of new information about how she is faring or when the world can tentatively expect to see her floating around a Hereford child care center in a turquoise McQueen blazer while tiny faces look up at her, agog. Nancy's for some time is the closest thing to even the most remote of pointers about how the rest of the year might unfold. 